So we have an indefinite integral. And if it wasn't for the presence of this x, this would simply be uh, an arctan. But the x is there, so we have to deal with it. So whenever you have something like this, uh, the trick is to first, I guess, write the problem down again. So this is x plus 2 squared plus 16 dx. And the trick is to break it up. So one piece is going to be an arctan, and another piece is going to be a u substitution. So if we write this as x plus 2 over x plus 2 squared plus 16 dx minus 6 over x plus 2 squared plus 16 dx, we can get it to work. So how did I do that? Well, I wrote down x plus 2 because I know that if I call this piece here u, I'm, gonna, I'm going to get an x plus 2 somewhere. So you write down what you want. And then you have to fix it. So if you have a 2 here, how do you get a negative 4? Well, you subtract 6. If that doesn't make sense, think of it this way. You can write x minus 4 as x plus 2. And then how do you fix it? Well, you want to get to negative 4, and you have a positive 2, so you simply subtract 6. And if you think of this as one term, and this is another term, you can break it up as we did here. All right, now we're ready to start making some substitutions. So let's call this 1, and let's call this 2. So this one, we're just simply going to let u be the denominator. So we're going to set u, so this is 1. u is going to be x plus 2 squared plus 16. And then so du is simply, let's see, bring the 2 down, so you get 2 x plus 2 to the first power, but I won't write it, times the derivative of x plus 2, which is 1. And then we have the dx. And the derivative of 16 is 0, so it's not significant. Here we don't have a 2. Here we do have a 2. So we'll divide by 2. So we end up with 1 half du equals x plus 2 dx. All right, so now we can rewrite the first integral as follows. So x plus 2 dx that's here, and we said that's 1 half du, so we can pull the 1 half out, much cleaner to pull it out. And this is simply du, and the denominator is u. So this is very easy to integrate. This is going to be uh, the natural log of the absolute value of u, piece of cake. For the second integral, we can make a substitution. We can let w equal x plus 2, so that dw is equal to dx. And this is going to give rise to an arctan. So we can write it as follows, minus the integral of 6 over w squared plus, and if you remember the arctan formula has an a squared, so we want to write 16 as 4 squared, and then we have the dw. And if you forgot the arctan formula, I guess I can squeeze it in over here. It's dx over a squared plus x squared. This is 1 over a arctan of x over a plus c. So that's the formula we're going to use for this second integral. So finally, integrating this gives us 1 half natural log absolute value of u minus, let's see, the 6 hangs out, so it's 6 times and then it's 1 over a, so a is 4, so 1 over 4 arctan of w over a, so w over 4 plus our constant c. So the final answer is 1 half natural log absolute value, and u was all this stuff. I suppose you could multiply it out. I don't really want to, so I'll leave it. x plus 2 squared plus 16 minus 6 over 4 is 3 over 2, and then we have arctan of, and then the w was x plus 2, boom, there it is, x plus 2 over 4, and then we have the plus c, I don't know what's going on with the 4, that's a 4, and that is good enough, so I hope this video uh, made sense.